Friends and parishioners, I'm going to tell you who I am, what I believe, and why I'm here. My name is Bill Bourgeois, and I'm blessed to be Susan's husband, Mel and Jerry's son, and Matthew and Sarah's dad. I first attended Mass here at Holy Cross in my mother's arms in the cafeteria next door before the church was built. I made my first communion right over there in the center of the church. I made my first sacrament of penance right back there uh, behind church. Uh, for a number of years, I served as an altar server here. Uh, and Susan and I married across town where three generations of our family members have now been married. In connection with college and grad school, we attended mass in Baton Rouge and New Orleans. In connection with work, we lived in West Monroe for 18 years where uh, we attended mass there. Uh, I learned that Sunday evening masses were best for the family and our children were altar servers, and Susan served as the Eucharistic minister, and I served as a reader. Uh, since moving back to Morgan City, I've served as a reader, as a Eucharistic minister, and on the parish implementation team. I believe that our Catholic faith and commitment to the body of Christ should be at the center of our life. My favorite saint is Mother Teresa of Calcutta, um, although I'm eager to read Father Bryce's new book on the saints. Our Indian, Indian pastor in Monroe, Father Joe Puthapalli, uh, had a, a neat experience with Mother Teresa where they worked together and at an event, the crowd rushed the platform where she was speaking and he had to act and lift her up and carry her off the platform to safety. And so after she was canonized by the church, he was able to say that he had hugged a saint. And I've hugged Father Joe, so I can say I hugged a person who hugged a saint. I believe that uh, Mother Teresa, St. Teresa, absolutely got it right in her efforts to uh, uh, preserve uh, and protect the lives of the unborn. Uh, life begins at conception. Uh, too many people in the world today don't understand that and disregard that and disregard the sanctity of life. For those of us to be blessed with children, I believe that being a good parent is our most important uh, job. I believe that the church serves an important role in guiding us through life as we work to be better Christians uh, and to fulfill the commandments. If you imagine a bicycle wheel with the spokes of the bicycle being different aspects of our life, work and family and education and, and um, vacation and recreation, we want those spokes to be in balance so that our wheel is balanced and we roll through life smoothly. And I believe that the church helps us to maintain that, that necessary balance and keep our wheel in balance. I always, always feel better when I leave church after Mass. I love it when the song from Mass uh, stay in my mind uh, throughout the week. I believe that a family that prays together stays together. Uh, my, my parents have been married for 64 years. Susan and I have been married now for 33, going on 34 years. Uh, brothers and sisters, I'm witnessing to you today because Father Bryce asked me to do so, and I immediately said yes. Um, you see, many years ago, my mom taught me, this, taught me this very simple prayer. Lord, come into my life, take it and use it as you see fit. I most often say that prayer when I'm walking up to receive the Eucharist. It reminds me of the responsibility that we have uh, to serve and to answer when called and to be thankful for the many blessings that we have. Several years ago, I got asked to serve. Uh, and I said, yes, um, I've been saying this prayer, uh, asking the Lord to use me, and I felt it was important to, to answer the call. Uh, and saying yes, and in becoming involved, I reconnected with old friends, and I made many new friends. And Susan and I have especially enjoyed uh, the, the involvement we've had with our Come Lord Jesus group. Uh, they inspire me and motivate me to be a better person. It's been very rewarding and, and, and inspiring. I think that we're blessed to have Father, uh, to have Bishop Fob and Father Bryce and Father Patrick. I, I, um, uh, they inspire me to be a better Christian and better person. And I can personally attest to the fact that Father Bryce is one of the most hardest working persons that I know. And he's certainly way more technologically savvy than I am. Uh, and I, I think he deserves help in whatever way we can, we can help. Uh, we're called to be missionary disciples, to, to grow the church and to grow ourselves in the church. And so at, at this time, I want to invite all of you to uh, say with me the simple prayer that my mom uh, taught me. Lord, come into my life, take it and use it as you see fit. And 
Then when the church, when Father Bryce asks you to help, please say yes.